Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, and I want to show you very quickly how to get SSH working with Bitbucket. If you want to SSH into Bitbucket, well, the first thing you got to do is get some SSH keys. They're stored in the .ssh folder of the user that's currently logged into your Ubuntu or Windows workstation. Right now, you can see I got none, which means I got to generate them. That's super easy to do. Just open up PowerShell, maybe terminal window if you're on Ubuntu. The command works exactly the same way. And Windows actually has all of the open SSH utilities built right into it. So you can run the SSH keygen command right here as I'm doing inside Windows PowerShell since 2018. Now, this key generating tool command has a couple of switches. One is dash O that says that you owe this something. Now you don't owe it anything. It means that dash O is gonna force it to use the open SSH standard. There's another switch dash T, specify RSA. That just says it'll be an RSA key that's gonna be created. You can specify some metadata with the dash C, a comment. I'm gonna say SSH key at mcnz.com, just put my email in there. I'm gonna hammer the enter button and boom, all of a sudden it pauses. It says, where do you wanna save the key? Do you wanna save it into the .ssh folder of the home directory of the currently logged in user? Yes, I do, because if you put it anywhere else, well, Git's not gonna find it and things are gonna error out. So just click enter there. Oh my, more questions to answer. What's the passphrase? I can never remember a passphrase, so I'll just click enter twice. It doesn't mind. You notice two files pop up over here. The .pub is the public key. The one that doesn't say .pub is the private one. And look at that. You get some beautiful random art to make you feel good about yourself. Okay, now we've got the keys. I need to go into this public key, the .pub file, open it up and copy this key. Oh, there's a little metadata right in there. Dash C on the key gen. I need to copy all of that. I'm gonna do that twice because once just isn't good enough. And I'm gonna take that key and I'm gonna tell Bitbucket about it. Bitbucket wants to know what that public key is so that it can validate the connection when Git tries to make a clone or a push or something like that. Well, there's no options for SSH right here. You gotta go into your personal settings right there. And when you go into personal settings, boom, we've got SSH keys that be, can be configured. So you click on that, there's no keys. So we wanna add one. It says paste your key here. And I paste in that code that I just copied. It says, give it a name. I'll call it Cameron's key. And it says, oh, there's a bunch of links here to help you do stuff, but do you wanna just add that key? And I'm like, yes, I do. The key gets added and it looks like we've now got this beautiful key right here. Now, what's next? Well, I've got a repository over on Bitbucket. It's learn Bitbucket fast. I'd like to clone this GitHub. <laughs> oh, I said the wrong word. I wanna clone this Bitbucket repository and bring it down to my local machine. So how do you do that? Well, the first thing you do is you click clone over here, and this doesn't clone it, but this is actually going to give you the URL that you can use in order to perform the clone. Notice that I can choose HTTPS or SSH. I'm choosing SSH. So I'll copy this, get clone, and that's the SSH URL that Bitbucket has. I'm gonna click copy there to copy everything. I'm gonna click it a bunch of times because I just can't get enough. And then I'm gonna head over to my PowerShell terminal. I'm going to, well, I'll just paste that command in, git clone, and then the SSH URL, hammer on the enter button, and look at this. It's gonna clone learn bucket fast. Now it says here, that's oh, a pretty sneaky key that's been placed up there. I can't verify it. Uh, do you trust it, Cameron? I'm like, yes, I just created it. So it says, okay, that's good enough for me. And it then takes the whole thing and it clones it down locally. Don't believe me? Well, just do a DIR command on Windows or LS if you're on Ubuntu or LS on Windows if you've got the Linux tools for Windows installed. And look at this. We've got a folder called Learn Bit Buck. Well, it's a little bit truncation there, but um, I can go in there, CD Learn Star, do an LS command or a dir command. And you notice, well, there's a bunch of files in here, including hello world.html and git and ssh keys.html, a couple of little HTML pages that were created in this repository. 
and boom, look at that. There's those files there actually up on Bitbucket, which tells me this whole SSH cloning from Bitbucket over a secure shell connection actually worked. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty content with myself. So there you go. That's what you have to do. The key is going in here and creating that key, that, that generating that key with SSH key gen, going over to Bitbucket, doing the configuration, and then just doing that clone. And now every sub, every subsequent push is automatically going to use SSH. So just use Git as you normally would. And there you go, that's how easy it is to get SSH working with Bitbucket. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, Bitbucket, DevOps tools and the like. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.